let's go shopping once again. Loosely inspired by Daniel's video, give credit where credit is due. So check out that video. I found it very, very helpful myself. So I thought I'd have a go and throw in my own say on the matter. So really the main bulk of this video is to suggest websites, but I will be giving advice along the way. But wait. This video was sponsored by ShopTagger. ShopTagger is a shop assistant Google Chrome extension. It lives on your browser as a handy companion while shopping on any clothing website. Using ShopTagger is easy. You go shopping as normal, see something you like, press the ShopTagger button, and it all gets saved into one place where you can organize your items into lists and get notified via email or push notifications when an item goes on sale or if it's sold out, comes back in stock. Amazing, bravo. How do I welcome ShopTagger into my life? Well, settle down fam, here is the tea. All you have to do is go on the ShopTagger website, press get started, sign up via Facebook or email address. Once you've done that, you'll get your own dashboard and have access to get the button, click that, and from there you can add the extension to Chrome. It is that easy, my guy. Personally, I like ShopTagger for a number of reasons. I love the idea of having all of your saved items in one place. You get notified when they go on sale. What more do you want? It's sick. And if this is something you like the sound of, then I will be leaving a link to ShopTagger in the description down below. Also, if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, then press that little subscribe button. If you want to get notified when I upload a new video, press the little bell icon as well. And with all of that out of the way, Let's move on to streetwear shopping on a budget. And the first section I wanna talk about is online marketplaces. Now to introduce you to online marketplaces and how it relates to being on a budget goes very much hand in hand. Online marketplaces is where you can find a lot of stuff for under retail. Resellers also live here as well, so if you're into that. But you can find the main bulk of a wardrobe on an online marketplace for relatively cheap. My first stop when it comes to any online marketplace is Depop. Depop is mainly focused around vintage clothing or people's secondhand clothing that they just find in their wardrobe and they don't really wear anymore. Most of the sellers are just normal people. They're not really businesses. It's kind of like a shrunken down eBay. But this is really good in a sense that you can actually message the sellers. If you like an item on their page, but it's a little bit too much or it's a little bit out of your price range, you can haggle a little bit. Other than that, Depop is a great place to get started. The only thing I I will say is watch out for scammers and misrepresentation when it comes to pictures. Ask for more pictures, ask for the measurements, ask for a fit pic if you can. So that's Depop. Secondly, I would suggest Facebook groups. You can get a Facebook group for absolutely everything. There's Thrift Center if you're into vintage clothes. There's The Basement, Supreme Talk, Palace Talk, Dickies Talk, Trousers Talk, High Fashion Talk. You can find a Facebook group for absolutely any style of clothing. It's basically your rule 34, but safe for work. Here you'll find a very similar experience to Depop. It's very much a person to person business. The only advice I could give to Facebook groups is ask for references and never gift. I wouldn't even gift my nan. The next site I would suggest if you want to bypass all the waffle is the ASOS marketplace. Imagine a market with pop-up stalls but online. That's the only way I can describe the ASOS marketplace compared to Depop and Facebook groups. Here the sellers are a little bit more verified in a sense that they're more businesses. Some of these shops have over a thousand items of clothing for sale. These aren't just guys trying to thin out their wardrobe. So this is where I think your money will be a little bit safer. If you're looking for a certain item of clothing, you can normally find it on the ASOS marketplace. I would admit things on the ASOS marketplace are a little bit more expensive than on Depop and the Facebook groups, but you get all of that back in reassurance and there's just more accountability on the ASOS marketplace. Next up is eBay, basically Depop's more successful older brother. You can find literally anything on eBay. I don't need to explain eBay. eBay is eBay. And lastly, Grail. So imagine Depop, but everyone is selling Supreme Palace and high designer clothes. Here, you can haggle a little bit as well. People don't normally budge that much on Grailed in my opinion, but it's a great place if you're looking for a specific piece and those are all the online marketplaces. The next section I wanna talk about are high street retailers. Now, I know this is a little bit controversial because sustainable fashion is a hot topic right now. So you can totally bypass this section by just thrifting go into charity shops instead. But for those of you who wanna save a little bit more money and want new clothes at the same time, 
High street stores are a really good way to do that. My personal favorites are Top Man, Zara, Weekday, Uniqlo, and ASOS, not their marketplace, but their online department store. Now, this is really good for on a budget when you're looking to follow trends, but can't quite afford those high designer prices. But if you're looking just to follow a trend on the cheap, for example, trousers, a lot of these retailers do do trousers in lots of different styles. They have their own take on it. So it might be worth checking out. It's also really good for essentials. If you want plain white t-shirts, plain block color t-shirts, hoodies, that kind of thing. High street stores are a really good place to start. I'm not gonna go too in depth into each individual store. They all pretty much sell the same stuff. A little bit of advice I would give while shopping in the high street retailers is to check for the discount codes. If you're a student, that's also really good as well. See if you qualify in that store. And also, please, please, please try on your clothes if you're shopping in store. So make use of that changing room. I know I've already said this in a previous video, but that's my advice for that. So the next section, independent brands. Now you might be sitting there thinking, but wait, independent brands are a little bit more expensive than the rest. How does that compute to streetwear on a budget? Well, let me tell you, big man. Independent brands are really good because some of them do fit certain niches. If you've developed your personal style to a point where high street retailers just aren't doing it anymore, but you can't quite afford those luxury brands, those designer brands, then independent brands are a good stepping stone just because most of them have their own niche style. They have their own unique designs. They're not gonna mass produce 10,000 of the same t-shirts which you'll find in like River Island or Primark or something like that. They're a little bit more tailored, a little bit more limited. They're a really good stepping stone. I feel they have a lot more staying power than most brands out there. Some of these independent brands focus on quality clothing as well. So if you're after capsule collection pieces or if you just want quality clothes in general, you can find them in independent brands. A few brands I would suggest, Benny Culture houses a lot of independent brands, Secret Store, Sata Liberty, Lazy Oaf. These are all brands at the top of my head which I quite like. I'm sure on your own travels, you will find your own personal brands that you like. But this is just a nice reminder that you don't have to go from River Island to Raph Simmons. There is a nice in between there and it's definitely something worth checking out. Now for the last section of the day, let's move on to some subtle shopping tips. I have an entire video on shopping tips. I will leave that in the description down below, but I just wanna add a little bit more to it. Firstly, I would wait to end of sale, end of season, use the Shop Tagger app, get notified when you find stuff on sale or back in stock. Secondly, I would use discount codes before you check out. Check on Google or find a discount app. You might just save yourself shipping costs or get a percentage off. Thirdly, as I said before, if you see something you like, like a Supreme piece, a Palace piece, check the marketplaces first, see if you can find it cheaper or see if someone is selling something similar for cheaper and you can haggle from there if you want. Moving on from that, if you see something you like on the high end side of things, but it costs a little bit too much, try and seek out cheaper alternatives. And lastly, thrift, thrift, thrift. I am a massive advocate for thrifting, going to charity shops. I've personally picked up so many cool things, Burberry, Prada, Bape, Supreme, a lot of Ralph Lauren, a lot of Tommy Hilfiger. There's a lot of unique pieces in thrift stores. I would highly recommend it to everyone. Trust me, there's enough to go around. If you're into sustainable fashion, thrifting is literally the number one way to support that. And that was shopping for streetwear on a budget. Let's have a discussion in the comment section down below. What do you think of these tips? What do you think of the websites I've suggested? Do you have any personal tips yourself? Let me know, let's have a conversation. Again, big massive shout out to the shop tag for sponsoring today's video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. If you like what I do here, then press the subscribe button press the little bell icon as well if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. All of the information I've mentioned today will be in the description down below as well. And with that being said, goodbye. That was weird.